guys, what's going on, and welcome back to FNAF Maker. Now, this is going to be a very different video from the first one. This is actually going to teach you how to make your very own fan game with this tool. So, let's get started. You're going to press New Game, and you're going to title your um, game. My title, the title for my game, and this is a very, this is gonna be a very bad FNAF game. This is gonna be worse than freaking my FNAF Origins game, right? It's gonna be worse than that. How can it be worse than that? But it's gonna be worse than that. It is gonna be called Several Awkward Nights. I'm just going to capitalize everything. Nights. With Spring Rabbit Man. There you go. Several awkward nights with Spring Rabbit Man. So now that's gonna appear. You're gonna see here. Um, I can't show you my here. If we go into our like our folder thing, you're gonna see several awkward nights with Spring Rabbit Man is gonna be a new folder in here. So you just made a new folder on your computer. Now what that's going to do is that's going to be where you place all of your assets and things for the game, all of your all of your camera images, everything like that. So or I'm going to make my very own album. cameras and off I'm not going to make them. This is it's not going to be that long. I'm going to go edit my very own office and camera cameras I will be right back. And, but before I go, I'm gonna say some people are going to, like, be in the comment section like, We didn't want to know how to use the actual tool, we wanted to know how to make the cameras! Like, literally, like, make the cameras! And I'm not showing that in today's video, guys. Because, if, if you want to know that, I would look up a tutorial on how to use SFM, and then... Um, trying to use that. Or you can just use images that are already in the games. You'll see what I do here in a minute. But yeah, like I said, let me go make my images. I will be right back, guys. Alright, guys. I'm back, and I've gotten all of my, um... Gotten all my textures and stuff now. So let's go to Office Editor. Right? Um, so now we need a preview for the office for the default state. Um, and we're going to go to office because I have it, and there we go. There it is. We're going to make a new office state, and we're going to call it animatronic colon spring trap. Boom. But you'll see why in a second. And we're going to change that, and we're going to make the new state this one. There you go. So that's what he's gonna look like in the office. It won't look as stretched, I promise. You're gonna go to fan sound. You're gonna see this pops up every time you do this. Desktop. We're gonna go to sound. So make sure you have everything you want in your game folder. It doesn't matter if they're in different, like, separate folders. In the game folder, just make sure they're all in your game folder. So the fan sound, we're gonna do this one. Enable mask, we're gonna hit yes. Uh, ambient sound, or ambiance sound, uh, I have Watcher 6, so we're just gonna put that in there. Desk, we're gonna hit on. Power, we're not gonna do right now, but if you do power, basically whenever you use the cameras, the power will go down. I mean, you can do that if you want. Um, phone calls, um, I've just taken these out of... Um, FNAF 3, so we're just gonna put these in here. There we go. Flashlight, we're gonna do no for right now, but if you do that, you can make a new office state where there's a flashlight, you can see the animatronic. Custom mask animation, I do not have one right now, but if you'd like to, uh, you'll see when I do it with the jump scares, it's gonna be the same thing as the mask. So now you have everything set up for the office that you want. 
So you have your default state and your state of spring trap. Good, great, go back. Camera editor, I like to do the interface editor first, so we're gonna do that, we're gonna do, we're not gonna add a button right now, we're going to change the map, and we are going to go to sprites, I've made this folder, and we're gonna, this is a big map, but that is okay. But don't do this yet, don't add the buttons yet, just add the mini map. We're gonna do a new camera, and we're gonna call this stage. So that's going to be the camera ID, and we're going to make it so you can see a default state. Then do stage, add state, you're going to call it default. And then do that, and then change. And we're going to do this for all of these, so there you go. And then we're going to add state, and we're going to put animatronics spring trap, okay, into this thing. Same thing you did with, um, same thing you did in the office, but put an S at the end of, of it, so it's animatronics instead of animatronic. And we're just going to do this for all of these. This next one I'm going to call dining room, just all one word, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You can make it two words, but I'm not. Default, and... We're just going to add these states for right now, default and animatronics spring trap. Now if you have multiple animatronics, first you need to make cameras to where those both, where like both the animatronics are there. But if you have multiple animatronics and you want them all in the same camera, or two of them in the same camera, it goes alphabetical order. So let's say you have Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica, you would say animatronics, Bonnie, Chica, Freddy. Right? If they were all there. Um, but we're just gonna do one animatronic for right now to start off. Um, so there we go, and you can see I've just thrown these together in paint.net. So they're not, they don't look good, <laughs> they're not supposed to look good, but that's okay. And we're just gonna keep doing this. So I will be back with you when I get all these done, okay? Alright guys, I'm back, so there's... You'll see, it, it goes in alphabetical order, but don't worry, as long as you have both states, animatronics, springtrap, and default, everything will be fine. Or, and, obviously, if you have a different animatronic name, so say a yeah, Freddy, it's gonna be animatronics Freddy, animatronics Bonnie, animatronics Foxy, and whatever you want to call your animatronic, right? Alright. So now this is where everything kind of comes together. Animatronic editor. So we're going to add an animatronic and we're going to call it Springtrap. Or whatever you want to title your animatronic. So if you want to call him Frodo, right? Let's say you call him Frodo. So when you go into the camera editor, you call it Animatronics Frodo. Um, when you do that. So we're going to do jump scare add frames from folder. So what we want to do is we just want to go to... We just want to go to spring trap. We want to add frames from the folder, and you're just going to want to go to several awkward nights of spring rabbit man, or whatever your name, whatever your game name is called. You just want to go to that. You want to go to jump scares. We're gonna hit OK, and it's just going to load all of those. Any jump scare sound, you're going to go into your folder. You're going to find the screen you used, and there it is. Um, remove frame that just removes the frame from the thing. Change animatronic icon, I'm pretty sure it's for custom night, so if you don't have custom night in your game, ignore it. And ignore mask, we don't want that unless your animatronic doesn't work with the mask but works with the flashlight. Um, then we have the path. So we're gonna say stage, dining room, uh, parts and service. Dining room, prize corner, um, and then we want to go to main hallway, uh, supply closet, main hallway. Corner, 
office. So this is the path you want your animatronic to take. So you're gonna put your camera ID, comma, camera ID, comma, and then put comma office at the end of it. And this is the AI by the night, so night one, Springtrap's gonna be pretty low, he's gonna be five. Night two, we're gonna make him seven. Three, we're gonna make him ten. Uh, four, we're gonna make him thirteen. Five, we're gonna make him fifteen. So you have to click it, you can't hold it. See, I'm holding it, nothing's happening. And 6 is going to be 20. So that's just how aggressive he is. Uh, imagine, like, change AI. Imagine this little section is like custom night. How aggressive do you want him to be? Right? So for so you want him fairly easy on night 1. And then, you know, more difficult as the nights go on. With night 6 being 20. Awesome. So you have just made your animatronic. Okay, so we're going to go back to the interface editor. This is where we add our buttons, right? So this is going to be Springtrap Stage. This is going to be Dining Room. Um, so you're gonna add button, you're gonna go to a sprite, and you're gonna find your button sprite. So I just did this very simple one. We're gonna put it down and put the camera ID in. So for instance, parts and service is that camera. Add button. So yeah, let me uh, get back to you. So remember, place the button, find your sprite you want for the button to be, place the button, and then give the button a camera ID. Okay, so now we're going to go to the title screen editor. We're almost done. This is the last thing we have to do. And then we can test our game and see if it works. So let's go to the title screen editor right now. Alright, so the background preview, you're going to want to go to your sprites. And then, that's my, that's mine. It's my title screen. There it is. Background music. We go to sounds. There we go. So just find whatever sound you want to use for your background music. Change game title. I would not touch this if you did what I did here and use your own. Uh, if you made your own, like, title screen with the name of the game already there. Change game title basically puts the game title in and it, with a very basic font. So I would just recommend not using that. And change newspaper. You're going to go to Sprite. You're going to give... You can get your newspaper sprite and that's it. So congratulations, you have essentially made a FNAF game right there. Um, so let's test the game to make sure everything works. Alright, why are you playing this? Just don't play it, you won't like it at all, so stop playing. So there's your newspaper, pretty, pretty perfect. You can click to continue and... Alright, here we go, so now he should be really active because I set him on really high difficulty. There we go, there we go, there we go. So see, he's moved and now he's here. There you go. So let's get him to get to the office. So you can see, he is moving on the cameras. So you can see, he should be in here now. There he is. So it is all working out so far. So there he is now. There he is, the prize corner. Here he is in the hallway. There he is in the um, low corner area. 
whatever you call it. There he is back on this camera. So he's coming. He's about to get here. It's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be creepy. So there he is on this camera. And there you go, he's in the office. We put our mask on. He goes away. So I'm gonna get his jump scare, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I'll be right back, guys. I'm back, he's about to attack me. So let's just get this done. Yeah. Ready? And there you go. So, that is how to make the most basic FNAF game in FNAF Maker. Alright, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. And if you enjoyed, leave a like, share, subscribe. If you hated this video, if you thought it was the absolute worst, leave a dislike, don't share, and unsubscribe. But, look, I don't need to lose subscribers right now. I'm pretty, pretty good. I need to get more, so, uh, Please don't unsubscribe, pretty please. But I mean, if you do, I mean, if you hate this video, if you just hate my channel, absolutely, you're already subscribed for some reason. Yeah, whatever, unsubscribe. That's, that's fine. My feelings are okay. <laughs> but, um, but yeah. If you want me to do more tutorials like this, or if you want me to do a separate tutorial where I tell you how to use the lights, the doors, and the flashlight, which I need to figure out myself, but if you want to do me to do a tutorial where I do doors, uh, lights, like doors the fl in the flashlight, and maybe like a behind the scenes of making some of the cameras, or you know, things like that. Um, put tutorial in the comment section down below, and if I give get enough comments saying tutorial, then I will make a second part to this where I teach you how to do a few more things in FNAF Maker. But that is it, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.